You gotta get all the tools up there to change the filter drive. Uh, take it. Everything? 410? Huh? 410? 410? R22. There. Everything recovered. This thing's tiny. But here's the scene. It's a 2007 high efficiency. It's like 7.7 .7 pounds of R22. I had to wash these coils not too long ago. Fun, uh, it's a little bit damaged. Anyway, to, to take my cover off, and I know she's okay, it's probably not gonna come. And We're replacing it with I gotta this get one, one in the bath a little bit too, bigger. So I, really don't have time. I always remove All my right. pores. Right. Help her fill out I like her, to, uh, her, uh, I'll so unbraise it. She can't do it. And when I flow nitrogen, I flow from the high side because oh, there's a check valve right here. And it'll come out right here. Hey, dude. So, I'm with you. Get... Train is really strange with the filter dryers. But anyways, you recording? Yeah. Alright. Make sure you purge with nitrogen. Master Technician Wade. on and put a vacuum. Micron gauge goes right there. We'll see if we can freeze water. Here's my kit. Deep hoses down here. Some fittings. Extra gaskets. Micron gauges. Alright, we got my hoses hooked up. It's a 3 8 a half inch. My micron gauge. Let's get this out of the way. Got a T 3 8 half inch hose, a 3 8 connection, 3 CFM vacuum pump. It's not so much about the pump, as, uh, it's 
more about the hoses and your connections. So let's turn it on. Slowly open everything. Make sure everything's clean and tight and have some nylog. Sleep. I like to crack them a little. Up in the ballast. I'll usually open and close them a few times because there's air that's trapped underneath the ball valve. So let's just give her the full blast. about two minutes probably not even you can actually hear the flooding seal pull down when it's pulling into a vacuum flooding seal inside the compressor Don't pull through your manifold, this is a waste of time. Unless you have time to waste. I'm, I'm the only employee at this company with a helper, so sometimes I just need to do things quicker, even though uh, it might take a little longer to set up, but in the long run, you're going to save all the time. I'd pull it down to 500 and we'll charge her up. Got a the new field piece scale. Not the, we have the wireless one, but I wanted to try this one out. So, my other scale is acting a little funny. So, we'll set it up and work pretty good. She's got a charging line so we'll see if I can set that up just to try it out. Alright got it pulled down. Gonna turn off these turn these valves. Turn off my pump. on here on the high side let's get it on there Back in. And I'm gonna purge all right probably a little bit more than you need but okay <clears throat> zero it Make sure your hose is not dangling so the weight doesn't change. Then you go to charge. We're going to enter the weight. It's 7 pounds 11 ounces. So I guess 0 pounds 7 pounds um, 2. Do I need that? 7 pounds. Okay, you hit enter. We'll put 12 ounces. Enter. And it zeroes. So we'll go ahead and start charging. Do the high side. That should alarm me when it gets close to 7. Probably stop here and put my cores in, new cores, with a little bit of nylog. Just want to see if the alarm will go off. 
in the hatchet. What's your channel called? The Uzi channel? Pretty much. It's a HVA3 with Wade and Ulysses. Maybe I can get the whole charge in. Once you want it will alarm how how soon before. Say around what seven pounds will start going off maybe. Pretty close. Nice. Put the cores on. Put a little dab. Maybe I need to open it. Just to dab around the seal and the threads. That's all I put. Take off my, my hose. Slide this back. Hold this real quick. Tighten this up. Here, it click. So it's snug. And we'll make sure. Yeah. And I always put new caps on there too. So that's how you do it. Check your gaskets. Always put new caps. Always put fluids and caps. Put a smug. Make sure the gaskets in there. I'll just leave these here. Yeah, that's a nice little scalp. About uh, 120 bucks. It only weighs up to 110 pounds. So pretty, pretty accurate. So we'll see how, how long it lasts. 